GPWS system OK. Sand one ground, good speed 954 with information ready taxi, April 4. 954, one ground, on the 10 taxi, V Hotel. 10 B Hotel, good speed 954. Alright, let's uh, switch on the taxi line and off again to indicate our marshaler that we're good to go. Let's clear left, clear right. Permission Hotel, Snack Ranch Altimeter, 2992. Tax Lotus. Ground, up to 11. Up to 11. Just to confirm the jet in November 2, is a jet aviation or airport aviation? I believe it's going to go to airport. Hey, Delta Mike, confirm your parking. It's going to be jet aviation or airport aviation? Uh, it's airport aviation service. Clear left, clear right. Roger, uh, continue straight ahead, left turn on Sierra 6 and uh, get back to Sierra again. Alright, so left on the Sierra and back on the Sierra 6. Well folks, thanks for uh, joining us today. We're going to be flying VFR from San Juan, Puerto Rico to the beautiful island of St. Bart's, St. Bartholomew in the Caribbean. Ground Just of, uh, Bravo. St. Martin. We're over here at the gate, runway Flight time is just under an hour. Bravo. We'll be flying pressurized at 17,500 feet. That's much as we'll fly VFR around here. Runway 8 full length, uh, uh, no, about 18,000 you must be on IFR. Hey Delta Mike, behind the Islander, left turn on November, and you're going to see a previation uh, abeam the tower on the left side. Everything looks good, so I'm going to swap over to tower now. I'm going to set up the departure frequency, which is 120.9. And we're approaching runway one zero, so I'm going to let them know I'm ready. Sandwich her good speed uh, 954 is ready for departure of runway one zero. Speed 954, San Juan Tower, hold short of runway one zero for landing traffic. Holding short one zero, good speed 954. There's uh, a Sab joining final right now. So we're going to have to wait for him. American 1613 is ready in sequence. Take off. Sorry, blocked you. American 1613, Sandwich Tower, runway 8 clear for takeoff. Alright, 8 clear for takeoff, American 1613. Line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 10, good speed of 954. Tax light on. Strobes are on because we're entering the runway. Clear on the left with a sab, rolling on the runway, clear on the right, nobody's on final. On 4514, turn on the left at Hotel 4, Hotel 5 if you need it, contact Ground Point Hunter. Hotel 5, Ground Point Hunter, T14514 today. Tower here, 262 Bravo, home short, runway 8, full lanes, ready when you are. Heading is 102, checks for 10. 262 Bravo, San Juan Tower, runway 8, full length, line up and wait. Final line check this. Flaps are 15. Legs are as required. Good speed 954, flight 075, runway 10, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 10, heading 075, good speed 954. Conditional lever flight idle and cause is appropriate. Let's go, guys. Take a power is set, engines in the green, cause is appropriate. Airspeed is alive on both sides. 80 knots rotating. Air 262 Bravo, traffic on both sides. Air 262 Bravo. Air 1613, contact departure. 
Flying around the Caribbean Park is always fun. Two, two, Roger, stand by. Um, it's perfectly clear everywhere. Um, Park West 422, two, two, after mail, after mail, it's full of build-ups that go up to like 30,000, 40,000 feet. And those are some nasty storms you don't want to get into. There's the beautiful line of St. Thomas right there. Contact, one zero miles northwest of the airport is located on the southwest side of the island. After St. Thomas, comes St. John, and then the British Virgin Island. But as you can see, it's just a gorgeous day today. As you can see on the far west side, it's full of build-ups. Good afternoon, Alaway 934. So this island right here, here that's St. Thomas, part of the U.S. Virgin Islands. So is uh, St. John over here. But if you take a look to this at this island, that's um, just Van And that island over there is Tortola, just next to St. John. There's like two miles separating both islands. And all the way on the horizon, you can see probably Anicata. Those three islands, Just Van Dyke, Tortola, and Anagata, there's also Virgin Gorda, right out there. Those are part of the British Virgin Islands, so you need a passport to go between St. John, which is this little line right here, or St. Thomas, all the way to those British islands. I'm really interested in knowing how uh, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection protects their boundaries are on here, as it seems like you can go back American and forth in a little, in a little level, ship, level and probably nobody will say anything. Look at all the ships out here. Five, six, nine, right here contact, K-talk, climb, maintain, this area right here is called zero. Red Hook. Amazing dining options in there. So, how quick is that Pilatus? Well, right now we're showing 191 knots at 17,500 we have a 15 knot tailwind, and that gives us about 267 knots of uh, ground speed. Temperature right now is minus oh, two. Audio 915, 10 good afternoon. So contact, 20 miles make the map. Two nine zero after May. You know the true airspeed. Now, if you can notice, six four six right or thirty. We're about to cross the San Juan uh, local altimeter boundary. And what that means is that we're going to be flying in the uh, San Juan Oceanic airspace. So, even though that we're at 17,500 feet, we actually need to go standard 2902, and we're now flying on the flight levels. So I'm going to adjust this so that the plane climbs at uh, all the way up to flight level 175. We will set the uh, local altimeter setting again once we start descending into the Julianus airspace, which uh, calls for a transition level of 6,500 feet. So once we get to 6,500 feet, we will uh, put the local altimeter setting on. Normally in the U.S. you will fly um, with, your, with your local altimeter setting all the way up till 17,999 17, feet. Once you get to 18,000 feet, you, uh, you set your altimeters to standard 2902 or 1013. You will report flight levels. Uh, but that's only the U.S. Every single country you go to uh, has their own rules about when you're going to report flag levels and uh, local altimeters. So, in the case of Julian, as I said earlier, uh, when you're descending, you will set the altimeter setting. Uh, you're going to look at the setting once you descend out of 6,500. Uh, if you're climbing out of your land source base, you actually set the, the altimeter to local altimeter until you hit 5,000. At 5,000 feet, you go 299 or 2 in your altimeter setting, and uh, you're now reporting flight levels. So let's see, flight levels 060, 065, 070, and 
That actually tricks American a lot of pilots when they come down to the Caribbean or in general when they fly outside the U.S. Every country has its own rules, and actually some airports have different rules than others in the same country. You can find this and more information on the transition altitude and transition levels in the uh, approach charts for the airport you are flying to. Another example of this is if you go to Antigua. It's just about 65, 70 miles south of St. Martin, but their airspace calls for uh, a transition by. level 4,000 feet instead of 6,500, and their, their transition altitude is 2,500, so on departure, you'll have I'm local altimeter setting all the way till 2,500, and you go standard 299 or 249, and you start reporting flight levels. And uh, descent, instead of, uh, instead of shaking from standard altimeter setting to local at 6,500 like in St. Martin, you will do that at 4,000. So that's why you need to check your approach plates really good around here. Especially around here, uh, most of these earth spaces are non-radar, so you really the ATC, the only way they can separate you is by pointing out traffic. And if you are not agreeing on the altimeter settings, and, uh, you, you might get into trouble, you know? You may get pretty close to another traffic, and that's not fun. That's never fun. So that's why you always have to double check your approach plates to verify uh, when you should transition between standard altimeter setting and local around altimeter setting, the or the other way around if you're departing the airport. One question I get a lot in uh, in social media is whether or not that Pilatus PC-12 requires a type rating. If you're flying a U.S. registered Pilatus, you're not required a type rating. Why? Because it's simple, the plane is not jet powered, and second of all, it weighs less than 12,500 pounds. Uh, this plane is roughly just below 10,500 pounds on its max gross weight. This is a Pilatus PC-12 slash 47. However, the rules outside of the U.S. actually vary a lot. And it's to my understanding that if you're flying in Europe, you do need a type rating on your certificate uh, for the Pilatus PC-12. So that's something you need to uh, bear in mind if you are flying around Europe. The BFR at or above 165 a long ways. And yes, this is a single pilot aircraft. The way we operate at the company I work for is that we're usually doing crew uh, flying. So it's going to be me plus another crew member. And uh, unless it's a PAR-91 flight, as it is this one. I like to refer to the Pilatus as the SUV of the skies. Uh, it's empty weight is just around 65, 6,700 pounds depending on the uh, American sphere American number. Two, uh, and American and their max two, gross two, weight goes from 9,900 pounds to 10,400 pounds. And, uh, five, four, clear, direct, and, text, and cross and text, so that's, that's like a zero, lot of useful load you have right there. Almost uh, 4,000 to 5,000 pounds. And that, that there's a lot you can do with that. The range is also Antonio, super nice at this point. It's not the fastest uh, single engine turboprop out there, but it's one of the best ones. You can fly nonstop from uh, somewhere on the southeast coast to Puerto Rico without having to uh, stop for fuel. All right, guys, we're almost getting to Juliana's airspace, so I'm just going to get a hand up from San Juan and talk to Juliana. Pay attention to the communications uh, around Juliana, because they're a little different than what you're used to in the States. Embraer 120, uh, maintaining 165, or above. American 2219, thank you, sir. And San Juan, good speed, 954, looking for a hand off. Good speed, 954, you're in your descent. Uh, about starting this in now. 
5954, Roger, Raiders through the terminus, squawk maintain VFR, frequency change approved, suggest you want to approach you on the waypoint 905. Frank VFR over to Jelana, good speed uh, 954, see you. American 2901, contact. I start my descent here. Uh, let's use about 1100 feet a minute first, and I'm going to set the car pressurization system to descend as well. So I select pretty much airport alt altitude plus 500 feet, that's about St. Marte sea level, so about 500 feet here. And the cabin will descend nice and smoothly, about three to 200 to 400 feet a minute. And now over to Atlanta. Atlanta approach, good afternoon, good speed, 9 or 5 4. Yes, sir, Roger, again. Yes, sir, good speed, 9 or 5 4. Good speed 954, Juliano. Good afternoon, sir. PC 12 from San Juan currently entering your airspace through the western boundary and uh, descending out of flight level 165 uh, to St. Bart's. Good speed 954, confirm. That is correct. Good speed 954, Roger. Put a beam south outside of 15 miles. QNH, Juliano 2996. 2996, cold you south, the beam 15 miles, Papa Julia Mike. Good speed 954. Two niner, niner six. Running it down. Uh, so he instructed us to maintain outside of his airspace um, one five miles, fifteen miles outside of their Papa Julia Mike VOR. Julian has two airspace, um, has a TMA, which is their main terminal area and then they have a control zone. The TMA starts just right, right now from 2,600 feet all the way to 15,000 feet. And uh, every aircraft moving around inside the TMA has to have two-way contact with Juliana. You cannot just come here VFR and talk to nobody you actually have to establish two-way communication with them. Uh, good um, afternoon, approaching 3,000 feet, uh, heading south. The second airspace is their control zone, which is pretty much a 10-mile ring around the airport, and you need their clearance to get into the control zone. What he told us was to remain one five miles outside. That means we're going to be skipping his uh, control zone by five miles. And that's mainly due because they have departing aircraft and arriving aircraft. Uh, most of the traffic around here comes either from the west, like us, or from the south, from uh, islands like Saba, Stacia, St. Kitts, Nevis, Antigua, and Martinique. So it's really busy in their control zone. They have IFR and VFR traffic all the time in there. And they just don't want to deal with us that closely. So we remain outside 15 DME. And uh, he told me to report a beam south of his VOR, so that's on radial 180. So let me set up my nav sources, and I see the needles on my uh, RMI, and we're currently on radial 260 right now. Gonna do the set checklist real quick here. The set checklist cabin pressure rate is set, it's descending about 400 feet a minute. And uh, Kevin was at 3,000 feet, so that's about six, seven, eight minutes to descend to sea level. And altimeters are still standard. We're currently out of flight level 137. Once we get to 6,500, we'll set 299 or 6 on the altimeters. There's the beautiful St. Martin out there. Yeah, France 499, you can see all the way here, you can see Anguilla is just to the north of St. Martin, you can take a look at it right now. As we descend um, below 15,000, I always try to see uh, the water when I'm coming to St. Martin. As you can see, there's a lot of wide caps on the water. That means that the sea is rough around here. And that usually is an indicator that we should do a straight in runway 10 because of the um, strong winds around the area. There's St. Martin and Anguilla to the left, and you can see St. Bart's on the right, all the way out there. All right, we're passing through flight level 100. I'm gonna do the uh, pro checklist, recall lights are on, separator is open. 
Pressure class, Rico clocks are on, radius and nav eights are set and ID. We have uh, Simbarge frequency on standby and we have the Papa Jolie Mac VR on both navigation sources. Altimeters are still standard. Should be 296 once we get to 6,500. Pressurization is set for the field, it's the pressurizing. Inertial separator is open. And crew approach reefing. I'm thinking about doing a runway 1-0 approach. Direct uh, on chest is on What do you think? Altimeter 2996 confirm. Looks pretty windy though, there, so I'm gonna do a runway 1 0 approach. There's Saba Island, that's just south of St. Martin. If you haven't seen the videos of that island, there's uh, twin archers going there uh, from St. Martin and St. Bart's. It has the shortest commercial runway in the world at just around 800 to 900 feet. Definitely an interesting place to go. Juliana, get intro, love 264. Total of 264, go ahead. Yes, sir, checking in with you. Bravo Echo 10 from B5 into Angola with 3 8 miles to the west, total of 8.5. And good speed to St. Bart's. Your call sign is 154, confirm. 954. 954, nine, my bad, buddy. And uh, turn left, now direct St. Bart's. Direct St. Bart's, and we're currently being south. Good speed, 954. Okay, 6,500, the altimeter goes down to, uh, to 996, and we're cleared direct same parts. Victor Papa Alpha, Echo Whiskey, Raja, call the South Boundary 55. What's the cutter box, please? So, 264, Fox 0156. Once we get below 4,000, we have it switched over to the APHIS. I'm gonna request a switch over. Getting to 4,000 now, I'm going to request a switch. And Juliana, good speed, 954 is approaching uh, St. Bart Circuit below 4,000 now. Speed 954, Roger, contact St. Bart's 1845, good day. 1845, good day, good speed 954. Bonjour, St. Bart's, uh, good speed 954. Just going to clean out. Very good speed going, St. Bart, again. We miss you. Good speed, Niner 54, about two minutes west of Sugarloaf from San Juan. It's a four, call you back shortly. Copy, Niner 54. Pretty sure the ones are going to be from the uh, east. So I'm just going to set up for a runway 10 approach. Full he calls me back. 95410 is in use. Uh, the wind uh, zero. Uh, 80 right now in altimeter 1014, outbound traffic uh, to the south, uh, report Sugarloaf. Alright, we'll uh, do a 10, call to Sugarloaf next uh, for only 10, good speed 954. Okay, actually it's 9 knots on the wind, that surprises me. I guess there's not too many white caps around here, honestly. Sugarloaf, I don't know if you can see, there's that big rock right in front of us. That's our reporting point, we should be at uh, 1500 feet by the time we get there. Here. There's 160 knots, flap 15 selected. Hundred and fifty knots, gear down. Lights are on. Green brakes are good, speed is 120, flaps 30 selected. We're almost at true love. Lining up with the runway. And flaps 40 Stop selected like before landing check was landing here. Is that the green? Foot brake says so, landing time selects are on, flaps are 40, out of body number. We'll come away shortly, cover pressure is zero. Before landing check is complete. Bien, on see the piste 19 est d'une 1014 au QNH. Twin out, uh, PC Roof, qui rappellera final 10. C'est copié, il est encore en final du coup. Fully configured. Uh, 955 de position. Uh, yeah, be, uh, just inside Sugarloaf for 1 0, good speed 954. Roger that, wind 0 9 0 degrees 1 0 not. Merci. For black sign 1 2 6, confirm we are safe for takeoff. Uh, we're currently doing 85 knots. Air speed, ground speed is 70 right now. This is our own channel. Try to keep it like for, that. Uh, the winds are that uh, strong today, so I'm going to try to keep a shorter approach angle to the uh, runway. 
I'll try to put the block markers just right on top of the hill. That should give me a nice glide path to the runway with this winds. If the winds were stronger, let's say 15, 20 knots, I'll definitely have a higher approach angle into the runway, probably see the number and just keep it going down all the way. 500. Here's on three green flaps, 40 out of apology, the Emperor wave from the checklist complete and runway's clear. Short final, one zero. AO is a little slow, correcting. And here we go. Affirmons-le en mobilité à 731. 731, contactez le départ. 128, 95. Bonne journée. 128, 95. Vaccine 126, y'a personne derrière le trafic à atterri. Ah, tu confirmes, y'a personne Ça va, Vaccine 126, tu confirmes pas de trafic en finale Après le PC, 12, c'est trafic au lien. Oui, c'est en salle 10, Vaccine 126. Do a little victory lap around the beach. It's always nice to say hi to the people there. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's people speaking French here on the radio. And that's normal wherever you go. Um, Usually outside the United States, uh, pilots and air traffic controller are allowed to speak their national language in English. Depends on which language you call them up first. There's a caravan waiting for us to exit. If flaps are coming up. Yeah, I see. F to the net. Runway clear, good speed 954. Lights are off. This is off. Well, guys, thanks very much for joining me today on this uh, trip to St. Bart's. Definitely a nice experience to come here every single day. If you like this video, please smash that thumbs up button. And let me know if you have any requests on things you want to see about the Pilatus or St. Bart's on the comments below. Definitely subscribe so you can see uh, the videos I'm, I'm going to be uploading soon. Um, and uh, that's it for today. Welcome to uh, St. Bartholomew. Set. Class is yes, taxi light is off. Responder to VFR, cooling and heating is off. Avionics 2 and 1. Generators 2. Warning, and one. avionic bus. And conditional lever. Put the control locks on. Warning, cargo, door.